received a tremendous amount of comments, uh, some not very nice, but um, mostly positive, about this house sharing situation. And while it's absolutely nobody's business, um, I figure why not? I'll clue you in on what's going on. I've been kind of planning this for some time. I didn't know with who, if it was going to come, come to fruition, or exactly the situation I would have. but. I've been considering a six months in Cuenca and six months in Armenia, Colombia. And how do I do that? Do I sell everything? Now I thought about that. I thought about just selling everything and pick up a probably 10 grand. But it was so difficult. It was such a hassle to find everything. And I don't really want to not live here forever. And so I don't, it didn't really make sense. And so what if I had somebody that could watch my things, watch my dog while I'm gone, take care of my dog, take care of my things. And so when this came along, it was an opportunity for me. Uh, cause I don't know how people misconstrued that it's like somebody's taking advantage of, nobody's taking advantage of me, come on. Um, I'm old enough and nobody's going to take advantage of me. This is an equal opportunity situation. So think of it. If I decide I want to run off to Columbia for three months, six months, I'm going to need a place to stay so I can rent a place. Now rents are half price there. So this house was $400. So I, I can get a furnished house for 200. So let's say I get a furnished house for 200 and here I'm used to paying around 400. You say, ah, but when you were in Hidon, you were paying 250. I was paying 250, except I needed to come at least once a week to Cuenca to do some grocery shopping, things like that. And when you've got eight, 10 bags of groceries, you're not going to do that on the bus. So I'd take a taxi back. And so when you figure up the, simply the transportation costs for the month, with the taxis and the buses and add that to the rent, <gasps> comes to about $400. So, you know, it's about the same. I didn't go out there for cheap rent anyway. So, if this house is $400 and I'm used to paying in, in that ballpark or more, then what if I'm splitting that cost? So then it becomes $200. And if I can get a place in Armenia for $200 furnished, and I have this place here, $200, then together in Cuenca and in Colombia, I'm playing right in my budget. So the only difference is, you know, travel back and forth, but travel back and forth is not very expensive. Particularly since um, I think we've got the buses dialed in now with my friend Tom and uh, my experiences, I think we've got it nailed down. And so, if I can live six months here, according to the new visa laws, and I can live six months there, um, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. And you can get your residency there rather easily. Uh, 
I don't need much of anything with them. The paperwork is minimal. It's, as a matter of fact, I only need one document and my passport. So I can have residency in both countries and still be a citizen in the United States. So um, why not? Why not do that? So this has been floating around in my mind for quite some time. And everything seems to be lining up that way. I'm going to Columbia while I'm planning and there's a couple things that could get in the way and I may have to postpone till next year. November 3rd, I'm hoping to be on a bus on my way to Columbia. I'll be there on the 4th or the 5th uh, in Armenia. I'm gonna see if I can take a couple days, go to Manizales and say hi to Tom, see how he's doing and come back to Armenia. Um, maybe scope out a place to live so that come next year um, I can be ready to make a half move. So that's my plan. That's always been in my head and um, maybe that makes for some of you that were kind of confused this house share situation uh, more understandable. Aside from the fact that they're wonderful people, they uh, you know, they accommodate every way they can. They help around here uh, more than their share. Uh, so, you know, there's that too. So that's it. Pain? Yeah, okay, go. Pain? Pain, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in Ecuador, some people eat in, in their pain. It's more delicious than when you eat in your plate. <laughs> yeah. Why is it more delicious? <laughs> I don't know. My dad uh, did uh, that when I was uh, when I was younger. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I see and I see him uh, uh, all morning and every morning um, he. How do you say calentar? <laughs> calentar. Calentar. When you put calentar, warm, hot, hot. Calentar. When you heat. When you put in a heat. 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 Calentar. Yeah. I. I see him uh, every morning. He heat the uh, his breakfast uh -huh. in the. Uh huh. Yeah. And rice. And maybe a uh, egg. Uh huh. Yeah. And tome tomato with lemon and salt. Mm, it's okay. But when you hit uh, in the pan, pan uh -huh. the uh, rice, uh, the rice uh, is. Cocolón in Spanish in Ecuador cocolón is mm, delicious. It's like rice mm, brown. Brown, like yeah. See, sí, yeah. Crispy bottom. Crispy, crispy. Yes, it's delicious. You know you